okay. Hey, Aquarius. Sorry. <laughs> I still have something up on the screen. There we go. All right. Hey, Aquarius. It's your girl, Dominique, with Empathic Guidance, and I'm back with another video for you guys today. I feel like it's been so long since I read for Aquarius, and it's probably only been a week. Okay, so this is your turn in between the two series for January 2021. Yes, this is a third-party reading. So if you are not in a third-party situation, it may not resonate. But if you suspect that you are or you know that you were in the past and you want to gain some deeper insight as to what may have happened, um, this could be the reading for you. So stay tuned. Even if you are single or not in a third-party situation, you can stay, stick around for entertainment purposes only if you so choose. Okay, so if you guys haven't already subscribed to the tribe, please go ahead and do so by hitting that subscribe subscribe button plus that post notification bell so that you guys can be notified every single time I post another video or go live. Give this video a big fat thumbs up. Leave all your thoughts and opinions down below. Now let's get straight into this video. Hold on y'all. All right so that was user and happy that fell on the floor so you know who knows y'all <laughs> maybe the person that you're dealing with or that's most on your mind you see them as a user or vice versa i'm i'm just gonna put a little disclaimer that i've been noticing that um basically these readings have been like third party readings like it's been speaking from the third party's perspective so don't get mad you guys if i'm saying that you played a role that you didn't just put it as it resonates y'all already know your girl don't mean no harm, but um, if it's coming out the cross watchers way, is it's spirit's way of giving you a little bit of insight as to what may have happened that you didn't know about, okay? So just take it like that. So I may be saying that you did some things that you didn't do, but if that was your partner and not you, just take it as it resonates. Okay. Okay, Holy Divine Spirit, Angels, Ancestors, and Spirit Guides, please use me as a vessel of clear, concise, channeled messages as it pertains to the astrological sign of Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the North Node for the month of January 2021, Spirit. All right, Spirit. What are Aquarius's current feelings? What are what is Aquarius's current energy towards their primary person? So Aquarius, even if you're not in a relationship with this person, this is the person that you just like. That's my boo. Like even if y'all not in a relationship and you guys are just casually dating, or even if you guys are even on a break right now, or if it's a recent ex, it's like the person that's more most dear to your heart right now. Ooh, you not feeling that good about this person. You see them as a two faced individual. All right, all right, so. What is Aquarius' current feelings towards their primary partner? I never forgot how it felt the first day we met. A lot of you guys are feeling like that. I feel like this this has come out in like at least one or two other readings, which I've only done three so far. So even if it came out of two readings, Scorpio. Okay, so you guys could be dealing with a Scorpio or have Scorpio in y'all chart. Or both of y'all could, you know, clingy. All right. All right, so how is Aquarius currently feeling about their primary person spirit? All right, so honestly, there's definitely a situation where one of you or the person you were dealing with, ooh, golly, is y'all dealing with a Virgo? Because I'm getting F you, you know? So there definitely could be an energy where the part, if your person got a third party on you, then they dealing with a Scorpio behind your back. I just got done with Scorpio reading too. And um, basically I asked the cards who goes next and Aquarius came out. So I don't know if you guys deal with a Scorpio or if the person that you're dealing with is dealing with a Scorpio. But I'm definitely getting F you. You're not on good terms with this person. You know, this could be a situation where... You know, you got a, first, a good first impression off this individual. Either you became clingy or they became too clingy for you. And they start, they switched up on you. And they could have started dating somebody else, especially if you wanted more because of how you felt about this person, you know. So, I'm getting sorry, baby. I'm a dog. Roof, roof. All right, so honestly, if you feeling, oh gosh, at the bottom of the deck, we get handsome and dumb. So that don't mean that this person is just like dumb. It doesn't mean that they're just stupid, like they don't have any brains. It can mean that they make bad decisions. 
it can mean as though they they try to play dumb or they even try to play you like you dumb. But overall, I, I feel like handsome and dumb does not speak to like academically smart or dumb. It speaks more to like this person, they don't feel like they have to bring any substance to a connection. They feel like that their looks is good enough, their sex is good enough, whatever the case is, and they make decisions that hinder them in life. Okay, spirit, what is Aquarius's energy and thoughts towards their third party, if any? Oh, wow. But yeah, you finding out somebody here is a dog. They showed you the time of your life. They got you attached and then they switched up on you. And now you just basically in this energy like, fuck you. I can feel your emotions, good and bad. All right, so... This can definitely be a ex to unrequited love. Oh, gosh. All right. So if you got somebody new or you do got a third party, you do feel connected to them spiritually. But it's like only one of y'all have like emotions for each other. You know, it's like it's or at least that's how what's being felt. Somebody here doesn't feel like they getting back the energy that they put out. All right. Aquarius is energy twin flame. So you feel like your third party is your twin flame. And maybe you feel like you go harder for that connection than they do. You know? But yeah, whoever is over here, I feel like you pretty much done with them. You see them as a dog. You see them as somebody, uh, you know, that really showed you the best of the best that they, they representative when they first met you. And then you ended up finding out that they were two-faced. So you off them because fuck you. Like when you get to saying fuck you to people, you know it's pretty much over. All right. So sugar daddy. Just a fling. Let's get one more for how Aquarius feels about their third party. Oh, we getting handsome and dumb again. Okay, so maybe you feeling... Maybe you feel like you keep running into the same energy over and over. Maybe your ex and this new person is kind of showing some similarities because I am seeing that, you know, this person really showed could have showed you that they have more emotions than they really truly did. And you already peeping this with this person over here that you feel is your twin flame. Now, sugar daddy was in reverse. So I don't know what that means. Like that can mean anything from the fact that, you know, this is, you know, this is a situation where, one person is being uh, used for basically money or at least that's how they feel, even if that's not true, because it came in reverse for a reason. So whether it's that the masculine energy um, is really not putting forth any like, I don't know, you know, it could be a one way street because I'm definitely getting that here. I'm definitely getting that one person feels stronger and his twin flame connection, or at least that's how the person that feels strongly feels. And I'm going to say that's you, Aquarius. So you got somebody that you feel a, a connection with. This person in the past, you done with them. You just feel like they a dog. They a lost cause. You don't see the potential in them anymore, but you do see the potential in somebody here. But you could be feeling like this person be making the same bad decisions that this person that you leaving behind used to be making. And you like, you know what? Like, do I really even want to invest in this? Because it's seeming like, was is this like a missed lesson? Like, did I not get the picture? Okay, so why is two-faced here for Aquarius towards their primary person? Yeah, you setting yourself free from this individual. Um, you could have felt stuck with them somehow. Uh, and it definitely could have been based based off of how you felt when you first met this person. Because sometimes we we stay seeking that throughout the connection. Like, you know, hoping that that feeling will be coming back, chasing that high, you know. All right. So the three of pentacles is in reverse. You realize that even though this could have been a connection where you guys were really intimate with each other. Um, what? Okay, hold on. Let me put this on Do Not Disturb. I don't know why, but people is hitting me up really late tonight, y'all. It's like 3 o'clock in the morning. So I'm sorry for interruptions coming through. But yeah, there's a situation where you feel 
as though like every time you try to go in a different direction from this uh primary person they pull you in i'm definitely getting clingy every time i try to leave something keeps pulling me back me back telling you telling me i need you in my life so this could have been this this person's energy um throughout the connection it's like even though they was like doing little things behind your back that made you consider them two-faced whether that's giving other people their energy or you know flirting with other people or even like talking to you and dissing you behind your back to other people even if it was their family like you kept catching this person do like backstabbing fake stuff and you like every time you would get the courage to kind of try to walk away from this person they'll try to pull you back in and like make you feel like they'll implement that same love bombing that they did at the beginning that had that got you anyway you know that got you in first place why is scorpio here damn let's see why is scorpio here spirit yeah, no more energy. You cut them off. Stinger time. So this could definitely be what you have in your chart, Aquarius. And it's like the Scorpio. This person brought the Scorpio out in your ass because I'm getting the Six of Pentacles in reverse where you pull back your energy. You don't want to deal with this person no more. Your energy towards them is very stank. And if it's not that way, then put it the other way around. But if it's no need to be stank to this person because they out your life, then if they were to come back around, it'd be like, if you won't. You know what I'm saying? Like, I get that energy. All right, why is clingy here? Maybe this person won't let go of you, and that's why they still in your energy field, even though you like F you. Okay, so... So, yes, we got the Ace of Cups in reverse. So, somebody here is still in love here. You know, I, when I see the Ace of Cups in reverse, it's like somebody that still got love and the other person doesn't. Yeah. So, your person could be trying to come back. Maybe they want to live together again, give things another try with the Four of Wands here. Um, there is definitely a situation where, you know, at one point, you know, everything was good. And then this person just switched up on you and they stopped. Like they poured your cup of love out, you know, and it's because they have fire and desire for somebody else. This person could have left you, moved on to somebody else, and now they want to come back. And you just feel like, no, <laughs> why is F you here? Yeah, so I'm getting a nine of cups in reverse. You're not happy with this person. They come back around. They come back around after exploring their options, trying to give you some type of... For some of you guys, they come back around trying to give you an offer after some third-party situation did not work. You know, this person ended up pulling back their energy, being emotionally unsatisfying to your person in some kind of way. And I feel like your reaction to them trying to come back is like, because how she even clenching her chest? Like, really? <laughs> you you pulling back up? <laughs> like, what? what is it that you want? Because you already chose somebody over me, so... Or whatever the case is, it don't matter. Like, even if this person left you and they was, like, only single for two weeks and then, like basically committed to somebody else you still kind of feel like okay they didn't know your worth in the past some way somehow whoever this past person is you know and then for some of y'all this f you is how they feel about you because i'm kind of getting this energy of them anticipating a future with somebody new you know and actually going off to propose to this person which essentially made this to where this did not go in your way aquarius so take it as it resonates because both of those can be true y'all both could have been like f you this person could have been like f you went off proposed to somebody else whether it was an ex or a new love and you could have been like f you when they try to come back because it's looking like they do all right so why sorry baby i'm a dog roof roof here so yeah this person won't let you go it's like even though they left you in a lurch they still keep trying to come back because they never lost feelings for you. Even if they thought they did briefly, whatever they felt for that other person could have definitely been something like lust, you know? And so they realized that whenever they try to attain some type of connection with this person, this person doesn't know how to apologize. They're not good at apologizing. Um, they definitely faced or are facing currently some type of karma as it pertains to the way that they treated this situation with you. Okay, so let's see how you kind of be feeling about this third party because I feel like this is a situation where you feel like you're more invested than this new person 
Why is I can feel your emotions good and bad here for Aquarius towards their third party? Wow. Wow. Okay. So whoever this is, it's like a lot of communication. You guys are very blunt with each other. Um, there could be this energy Aquarius where you kind of come off like you just unhealed, honestly. You know, and maybe it's how people see you, but also you could just feel like quite defensive because of this situation. And maybe you don't realize that. You know, and that could be the reason why this person over here that you consider a twin flame kind of pull back they love because maybe they feel like you don't feel the same way about them because at times you could be a little blunt, you know, and at times you, even if you feel it in your heart, maybe you don't show it because you're afraid of being too clingy, you know, or you're afraid of this person basically taking your emotions for granted and doing you the same way that you've been done and if that's the case like more healing does need to be done like you need to take more time to yourself to heal from this situation that you just got over okay spirit why is unrequited love here for how aquarius feels about their third party mm. yeah somebody think it's just sex here because i saw the uh knight of wands trying to come out yes you feel like this new person has lost some type of motivation about you. You could even feel like they're seeing somebody new, especially if they started to pull back their energy. But I'm definitely getting this energy of, you know, this person saw you as somebody that is like too harsh and not nurturing enough. You know, you coming up as the Empress in reverse and then we getting a Knight of Swords. So maybe a lot like there has been instances already where you kind of jumped the gun and basically allowing um, the energy to overlap from your old relationship, basically treating this person like they are your ex. Why is Twin Flames here? So yeah, there could definitely be like, um, yes, oh my gosh. And honestly, it's hard. You know, it could be a lot of, um, a lot of inner turmoil or inner conflict when it comes down to this connection because it's so intense for both of you you know if somebody is trying to get clear okay so this could even be this person towards you aquarius wow oh child mm. yeah it's a need to think more positively especially if you really care about this person aquarius because what i'm kind of getting is that you know any little thing that's done that triggers you from this person is meant for you it's a trigger you so that you can address it it's not meant for you to like go off the deep end and like i don't know go off on this person or tell them you don't want to talk to them no more or close yourself off to them because i also see the um I see the Empress as somebody that don't, in reverse, as somebody that don't know how to give and receive love, that hasn't reached their full potential. So even if you have, you're not seeing yourself as that. And there's a need to be more confident because I feel like the lack of confidence kind of killed the passion in the situation. Even if it started off strong, I feel like this person really pulled back something and they didn't want to say, they didn't want to address it to you because, and that's what, you know, I'm thinking that's why we're seeing, um, our feeling, that's why we're seeing the ace of source and reverse that this person person failed to tell you but also i see this as this person trying to gain some type of clarity on y'all connection because it's clarifying the twin flames so it's like they on the inside they like okay is this what a twin flame connection is because it seemed to be like a lot of back and forth energy here but that is it you know honestly um twin flame journeys definitely aren't easy They definitely do help to address some things within you that you need to mend before you can really be ready. All right. I see a lot of investment is happening here. So it doesn't matter whether uh, you the feminine or masculine Aquarius. You could be like investing a lot into this situation. You know, like you could be investing a lot. It don't matter whether it's time, energy, or even like you just hoping to see something grow out of this. Why is sugar daddy here? But somebody could definitely be giving money in this situation, though. Because, I mean, yeah. Money for stuff. Lower vibrational stuff. <sighs> At 
and I feel like you did pull that back because you wasn't seeing something grow here, but you wasn't seeing something grow here because I, I don't, I don't think, I think sometimes Aquarius, we don't really see how we be talking to people or how we can pull back and be shut off. And now something that kind of turned this person off and maybe they was feeling like, okay, maybe it don't have a potential that I thought it did because I'm seeing that here with the twin flame being clarified with the five of wands and the ace of swords in reverse. If this person isn't clear, it's like maybe they did feel a connection, but they like, damn, is this how it's going to be where this person is always holding back or cussing me out every time they think, you know, think something, whether it's correct or not. Why is just a fling here? So this end up being something short term. All right. Yeah, this person start holding back from you or you them. Yeah. Yeah. And it's looking like a lack of reconciliation. So at some point, this person really started holding back from you, Aquarius. Let's get handsome and dumb. <laughs> You feel like you guys can have a happily ever after. You got. You feel like you can work through whatever issues you guys have together and you don't understand why this person keeps either retreating or pulling back their energy when you guys can just work through it. But, you know, there's a situation here where you feel like when we have issues, I can just apologize and move on. But they don't be feeling like that. They be looking at it as a red flag, you know, and it's kind of like helping them to make their decision as to whether they want to continue investing in you or not. So that's something to think about, you know, and if you don't, you know, feel like, okay, it's up to how you feel. Because if it's like, if you willing to put in some type of change for this person, if they important enough to you, then I definitely encourage it. Okay. So why is the eight of swords here in reverse? This definitely was you or your past person setting yourself free from this situation. Because I feel like for a long time, it was an obligation. Yeah, and it was that person. They definitely saw this as a situation where they was trapped and restricted. And that could have been for any given reason, you know. And it could have been really because you always intuitively knew whenever they was dealing with somebody else. You could feel it in their energy, Aquarius. Okay, why is the three of pentacles in reverse? You just saw y'all going down different roads here. Despair in reverse. Okay, so the person that you was dealing with, Aquarius, or you, you guys could have been married or you guys could have been engaged. But I feel like it was a lot of makeup to break up energy here. <laughs> and I feel like this person did that within a connection. Like this person literally already had it made up in their mind that things weren't going to last. They were entertaining new people falling in love with new people even perhaps um but they wouldn't let you leave until they was over them like it looked like they healed from whatever heartbreak happened in this connection while they were still with you and started dating new people so that's the reason why you consider them two-faced why is the six of pentacles in reverse and this is you recognizing it through their energy because they wasn't quite giving to you as much as they used to and so they kind of told on themselves inadvertently why is the Six of Pentacles here in reverse, Spirit? Thief in reverse, yeah. You was feeling like somebody here was stealing your time. Stealing your time, you know, taking finances that you felt entitled to, Aquarius, especially if this was your spouse or vice versa. Why is the Eight of Cups here in reverse? I'm sorry, the Ace of Cups. So this person definitely could be trying to come back and apologize. I'm getting that energy. And I feel like you trying to apologize to this person. Like, look, we make each other happy. Why not apologize and make up? Because I see happiness at the end of this, you know. But, you know, you could you could need to do some healing. All right? This person definitely, like, moved at a distance. And it's like... The thing was is that you planned on this, this situation over here being long-term, Aquarius. And maybe it was even. I'm getting at least four years for you here. All right? Because I got multiple fours here. Um, so many fours, it don't even make sense. The four of wands, the four of pentacles, 44 over here. Um, it's just fours everywhere. So uh, this was a situation that you expected to last a very, very long time. And you started to really see that this person 
wasn't loving you anymore. And that's when you realize like, okay, I got too attached to an outcome and then that's not even going to be the outcome. So it could have been a lot of pain behind that because I definitely get this energy of, um, you know, you thinking that this is going to be long term or this was going to go the distance. You guys could even have vacations planned or you guys went on a lot of vacations together. Why is the nine of cups in reverse? Yeah. You wasn't being emotionally fulfilled. You was feeling emotionally drained. This person was definitely given to this other individual. So that could be the thing. You could have been dealing with kind of like a sugar daddy energy over here, even if you wasn't using enough for money. And this person could have been the exact opposite, you know, because it could have been you that was investing over here and that other person was not. And that could have made you second guess yourself here. Okay, so why is the four of pentacles here? I feel like this person definitely going through some type of karma. That other situation don't look like it worked out, okay? Why is the four of pentacles here? Now they trying to apologize to you because I'm seeing them trying to be your friend if nothing else. But they could be trying to come in as a friend to get more out of you. Yeah, message of concern. You blocked them anyways. Yeah, oh, yeah, this person wants to like redevelop a friendship and hopes that that like moves into a relationship because I see the page of cups is like an apology. You know, this person want to apologize in yet another four. So they want to rebuild the, the stability. They want things to change. They could have seen that you changed and they could be ready to be loyal and mature now after what happened to them while they was in this other situation. But it's looking like you not down. Like you, I feel like when this person come around, you automatically get flashbacks of the past and you, you feel like you changed and evolved out of that energy and you don't want to go back to it. You don't even want to take a chance in that sense, you know? Okay, so that's definitely uh So it's looking like you chose choosing this other situation over here, honestly. <laughs> oh, and even when oh yeah, so I just got the download that even when you are mad with this person in silence, they hear you loud and clear through telepathy. So this new person you moving towards, it's like they definitely connect to you through the 5D. And it's like your thoughts that they can hear telepathically is making them second guess this connection. You know, there could have been even times that you just felt like, you know what, this shit is not worth it. And they felt that or they heard that and you didn't realize how sharp their telepathy with you was. I feel like at this time, either you could have them blocked or them have you blocked because I'm getting the high priestess in reverse. So y'all, telepathic communication can be blocked right now. Maybe they turned it off because they were starting to pick up a lot from you that was making them feel confused because I feel like when you come around them, that energy is not like that. Like the energy between y'all is good. So this is what has this person confused. Or they see that you confused. And because they see that you confused, they could be want they could be wondering if it's gonna even turn out good. Like, you know what, if this person is unsure of me, why would I continue to invest? You know? But this person isn't telling you this though. Okay, so why is the knight of swords here? Ooh, yeah, <laughs> they can hear you through thoughts. They definitely can. They have a telepathic communication with you. And look, look at her face and look at his. Like, oh, really? That's how you feel. All right. So why is the Empress here in reverse, spirit? Ooh, okay. Yeah, you got inner childhood wounds. That's how this person feels about that, you know. Yeah, this person feels like you're unsure about them. And that could be the reason why unrequited love came up. Because maybe they were so sure about you, but you didn't really realize that this person was picking up heavily. Like maybe they got different gifts than you. 
So maybe your telepathy isn't as strong or maybe like you don't pick them up telepathically as much as they pick you up. But they sense like childhood wounds and stuff. And they feel like certain things need to transform within this connection before it can really be anything. And so you could just be wondering like, damn, why they back up? But this person definitely sensed some things needs needed to be dug up and like mended here. All right. And maybe that goes for both of you. Maybe this made this person even point out theirs because I'm seeing two children here. And then I'm also seeing the clouds in reverse. So this person notices like, okay, you know, Aquarius is not really sure and what they want. Like sometimes they could be cold towards me and then, or I'm picking up the telepathy that they feel like this one way. And then another day, cause I'm saying, I'm getting, I feel your emotions good and bad, you know? So why is the ace of swords here in reverse? Oh, I flipped that by accident, y'all. Yes. All right. So, oh, I feel like they want you to be more sure about this, Aquarius. With the, you know, this is like a new, fresh start, a new, fresh beginning. And they want you to come to them with fresh energy. They don't want you to come with recycled energy from the damage that somebody else caused, you know. And so, that could be something here that made this person feel like this can't happen right now. Yeah. Yeah. They want you to see them as them, not the old person you were with. Because this is the new male. The new male, the romantic male, the divine masculine, you know. And this person, they like they feel like they brought their charm and everything. And it's like, if you still just treat them like a cheater, then it's like, what am I doing all this for? This person knows their worth too, you know. And I'm getting that same energy. It's so crazy. This didn't clarify this, but it's right up under it. And it looked like the same. Like, this person was just waiting to see, like, okay. And then it's like, when you come around them, yo, and the energy you bring is different. So, it's like, this person sees you as confused and unsure, you know? And maybe they they don't want to invest in something where somebody not sure about them. It's like, nah, you know, I got feelings too. You know, I have a past too. I get triggered by certain things too. And I'm triggered by people that's not sure that they want to move forward with me or that's um, operating out of mixed signals. And that's how they could have been taking it. Okay, so y'all, they feel like a lot of inner work needs to be done. And they could be feeling like that on both ends. I'm not saying that they just finger pointing and blaming. Maybe they see before um, you guys can actually really see something successfully grow out of this connection that both of y'all got some growing to do. Why is the Seven of Pentacles here? Why is the Seven of Pentacles here, Spirit? Yeah. Mm hmm. So they could be distancing themselves or you can, you guys can both be talking to different people. You know, privileged lady is still in reverse. So it's like they are not going to wait. Yeah. I feel like a part of themselves, this person knows what they want. They do. I feel like eventually they are really going to tell you what it is that they want because I keep getting the Empress in reverse energy. So, they can really, really tell you what it is that they want in a woman or a man. But I feel like, I don't know if you're going to take it offensive or not, you know. And this could be also you, Aquarius. You could be telling this person that you need them to be more confident. Or you could just be kind of hinting at it by saying it. Like, you know what? I really need for my partner to be, to stand by me, be um, secure, or have good self-esteem. So if you guys have this talk, I definitely feel like it's going to be like in another month. Or it can be um, like in the month of March. Because I'm getting a lot of threes here in this spread. Why is the Ten of Cups here? You feel like they made a wrong decision. You feel like they your happiness. But I feel like they feel like that too. But they still feel like... Luck is on y'all side, but if both of y'all do the work, all right? All right, so why is the Ten of Cups here? Yes, y'all both feel this loving connection here. Y'all do. But again, I don't feel like this person, like you like, how can you feel all of this love and passion and happiness and not want to be together? Like somebody even want to baby out this situation, whether it's you, them, or both of y'all. 
why is the page of cups here but again it's that inner grief that inner childhood grief that needs to be pretty much addressed between both of y'all yeah this person does see the value when you aquarius that's what you gotta know but they need you to see that same value okay all right so why is the nine of cups here last but not least yeah you gotta set free some some old outdated beliefs in order for this to really work you got to set yourself free from this ex because they feel like this ex is still energetically attached to you because remember your ex came up as the main meal all right and this person's energy is already here so they feel like this person is still energetically attached to you and maybe they are you know and they they their energy can absolutely be um sabotaging your new connections or causing delays in your new connections or every little thing like that resurfaces about things that your ex did. It's like getting you to act out towards people that don't deserve to be acted out towards, you know? So I know that this was a reading where it was kind of checking Aquarius. But honestly, y'all already know I'm team Aqua as well. And if this is something that we need to work on, cool. Like it's better to know than to not. But if this is also your partner, then, you know, just take it like it resonates. I was going to do Libra and uh, Gemini tonight, but I think I'm going to take it on down and get them in the morning. All right, so let me get, yeah, because we 35 minutes in and I still got to get the Cross Watchers energy. All right, so what is the Cross Watchers energy towards Aquarius? What is the Cross Watchers energy towards Aquarius? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the North Node. moving on and it came out in reverse so that cross watcher i mean the cross watcher can be your ex because i'm getting mommy issues moving on in reverse and so that means this person is having a hard time the best love is the love you give they figured this out after going to go so they wow oh it's damn they got yeah, see, this person has some type of mommy issues. Maybe they feel like they have to spend money on women because I did see that they pulled back their financial finances from you and was given to somebody else. So that can be how they win people over or impress people, spell work in reverse. So whoever that was, they probably peeped that your person was like that. And, you know, they could have did that by watching you, Aquarius. They could have been watching you online, getting gifts, you know, um, going on trips and all of that. Because I was getting that with you and your partner that y'all was definitely taste making out here. And with Sugar Daddy here, it definitely could have been at your partner's expense, especially if you the feminine energy. But if not, this person could have a hard time moving on from you because you act like a dad to them and they have mommy issues, you know. But again, I get that Aquarius, this is your partner towards you. This person definitely has some type of spell work performed against them. And that's the reason why they felt like this other person was such a better pick. Because that person was trying to probably trying to get them by any means necessary so that they can run up a check on them. Let's get one more for the cross watchers energy towards Aquarius. But now they realize after moving on, after being used, after having to deal with uh handsome and dumb oh my gosh so this person is definitely like beating themselves up about like moving on from you you know and letting you go because now they see that basically you trying to put your energy towards somebody else but some of y'all y'all ex can be a Taurus because Taurus keep trying to pop out all right so how does the cross watcher feel about their current I mean I'm sorry how does the cross watcher feel about their third party spirit baby they might have went off and had a child by that person fantasized yeah or they fantasized about having a kid with them i feel like when spirit baby come up though that's a baby that's meant to be born you know so they could have went off and had a baby by this person and now they back because it probably was just meant for those two dna's to mix and i definitely want to talk about that tomorrow aquarius too i wanted to talk about break babies and how y'all feel about that 
Okay, so they could have went off and had a family with this person, unrequited love, just to figure out that that person really didn't love them, that they was using them for some kind of money, and they ended up getting pregnant, and now they really probably getting double the money they was getting before because they got to pay child support and some more stuff. All right, how does the cross watcher feel about their third party? Alcoholic rage. Ooh, child. So, yeah. <laughs> They probably found out that this new person didn't really, wasn't really feeling them like that through like a drunk argument. Like that, they person could have gotten drunk and literally told them like, I was just using you for money anyways. Best I ever had. It's so crazy. They tell you and this person that. But spell work, it's looking like some spell work was here. So maybe they did feel like this person was the best they ever had, you know? And guys, take it as it resonates because honestly, your cross watcher could have been telling them that you was the best they ever had during an alcoholic rage and that this was nothing more than a fantasy, you know? So they could have been telling this person like, yeah, I really thought that I felt you more than I did, but you know, my ex is the best I ever had. Take it as it resonates because somebody here was drunk, mad, and saying, talking out the side of their neck. Pregnant, y'all. Yep. They got that other person pregnant, and they found out that they just nothing but an attention whore. Somebody that seek a lot of attention. They could have got a Latina pregnant, and they this chick is broke. They was broke, and so it's like, um, and they could be brown skin, but they basically got this Latina person pregnant, you know, or this person can have Latina in them somewhere. But this person is broke and was using this ex of yours anyway, okay? So why is moving on here for the cross watcher's energy towards Aquarius? And we don't clarify these because it's the cross watcher's energy. Not saying that that ain't important. Moving on. This person, it's hard for them to move on from you, Aquarius, because you the fucking star. Like you've healed and you really glowing and uh, growing and glowing. Now, maybe you still got some healing to do because remember your new boo was picking that up. But, I mean, yeah, your new boo was pretty much picking up that you, you got some more healing to do. But to the outside world, you have made such a huge transformation. Maybe you even look different. You know, everything. Why is mommy issues here? See, somebody just doesn't get it that the reason why, yeah, that they plagued by some way that their mother treated them. Maybe their mother abandoned them. So this person just be hopping from relationship to relationship. When one thing don't work, they go to somebody else because this person probably cannot be by themselves for too long. They get a lot of anxiety. They can't sleep at night. You know, this person just don't like to be by themselves. Your love is the best. Uh, the love you... The best love is the love you give. Why did I write it like that? Yeah, ooh. See, I'm telling you. They felt like this person was better than you because this person put some spell work on them. And I feel like once it wore off, that's when this person realized, like, what the hell? I don't really love this person. Shoot, y'all. Yes, oh my gosh. Sugar daddy, why is this here? Yeah, you know what? That other person broke y'all up just so that they could be y'all sugar, they sugar daddy, period. And now this person is realizing that. And like I said, this could have all been explained in the alcoholic rage, you know, or this person could have just been talking out the side of their neck while they was drunk. This person realizes that you was their happiness that they let somebody else that was just using them for money come and break y'all up. And now this person is pregnant. Why is spell work here? Yeah, see, the Wheel of Fortune is coming out and the Lovers is coming out. It's like once this person was out of that trance, they realized like, damn, you know, I chose wrong. I chose somebody else and this person is not what I thought, you know, and now it's like they want to come and undo the damage here. They could be watching you, stalking you, asking people about you. Handsome and dumb. This person feel like they didn't think that they was doing something that wasn't true to them. But it's true, you know. And you're not, you could be telling this person that too. Like, you know, I can't get back with you. 
And either they could just be thinking that, honestly, because whenever I see the seven of wands in reverse, it just makes me think of the fact that somebody is too cowardly to do something for one reason or another. Oh, shit. I didn't realize that fell in my lap. But yeah, this person can definitely be trying to come back here because they realize that it was some energy manipulation that was going on here. And it's like now, it's like that when they woke up one day and this spell work was off of them, they was wondering how the hell did they get there? They was just unclear about things. But whoever this is, they literally went out their way just so that they can have somebody to fund their life. And they made sure that they solidified that by getting pregnant. But honestly, this baby looks like they were actually meant to be here. So this uh, child can be special, you know, in some kind of way, whether that's gifted or whatever. But yeah. All right. So, yeah, let's go ahead and get this energy here. Why is spirit baby here for the cross watchers energy towards their third party? Yeah, see, this person was a fantasy, but they was a fantasy because some type of magic was done. Maybe attraction or something. Why is spirit baby here, spirit, for the cross watchers' energy towards their third party? Why is spirit baby here? And honestly speaking, I hope this person is not lying about the fraternity of the child. You know? Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, this person definitely wanted to be locked in on that money. They want to have access to your person's money. Your person can be very wealthy or be very well off or have a good job or whatever that case is. But I feel like you off this person. But this person is still on you. Because otherwise, your other person should have been showing up because that's where your energy is most directed. But this is showing what's going on in this person's life behind the scenes. They got somebody that's heavily focused on their finances. Why is unrequited love here? Because this person don't really give a damn. It's all about the money for them. Yeah, the nine of wands is in reverse here. They don't really put in a whole lot of effort. You know, it's like in the initial stages, everything was all good. Y'all, in the initial stages, everything was all good, but now your person is drained because they're the only ones that's putting some type of effort into this. And this person acts lazy, the person that they left for or the person that they with now or that they trying to leave behind, you know, they don't put in a whole lot of effort. And now they want your forgiveness because it's like, you know what? Why is best I ever had here? This is not what I thought. Yeah, this person was definitely lured in by temptation. They were lured in by temptation for sure. All right. <laughs> wow. Yeah. And they, they, the pregnancy is coming from this person trying to solidify, you know, like make sure that they still going to get some type of, that they going to be entitled to some money for the rest of their life. Why is fantasized here? Wow. So they locked in, y'all. So even if this ex try to come back, you're going to have to deal with them dealing with like this gold digging energy. Page of Pentacles. I feel like they had your person. Listen, you see, they could have put something in this person's drink or whatever, but it's definitely this energy where your person was fantasizing about having this baby with them. They had them drunk in love, domination spells, anything. But I'm definitely getting this energy where they could have been saying incantations over your person or whatever. And somehow this comes out during the argument. Why is alcoholic rage here, spirit? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Why is alcoholic rage here? Six of Swords in reverse. This is what's sending this person back towards you. It's because the uh, the person that they're dealing with now, or they, they're trying to break away from, their secrets came out. Like, their true intentions came out. And it's like, now this person is pregnant. I feel like your person could have even fell in love with them for real. So, Ten of Swords is in reverse, or now they're real, realizing that they in love with you after they got somebody pregnant. Because they realizing, like, this person really broke up my relationship, you know? But this this Ace of Cups, I definitely see as fertility, 
you know, while they still thought they was in love before whatever this thing is naturally wore off or whatever the case is, maybe this person, see, because you're not supposed to be doing spell work. You can't be doing black magic while you're pregnant. And so because this person is pregnant now, they probably couldn't continue to just be doing spell work after spell work after spell work on your person. And so the stuff had time to wear off during this person's pregnancy. And now they realizing that they left you for some reason. And again, I don't know how this secret came out because if this person is still pregnant right now or I don't know if they already had the baby or what, but something came out during some type of uh, drunk argument, okay? So, all right, y'all, that is it. We are already at 50 minutes, so I don't need to clarify none of this. It just is what it is. It's an unfortunate event, but as far as you guys go with y'all twin flame, Definitely just keep doing the inner work so that you guys can be in alignment with each other because I don't feel like you're far off. It's definitely looking like you got a lot done already. But keep going, you know. All right, guys. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Join the Soul Tribe, and I'll check you guys out on the next one. Peace.